All right, here's a, another follow-up video um, so you can see the difference between the other one and this one here. Um, only difference is I went back to my original two guns. Um, so my lightweight here um, has competent and talented on it only. Um, not sure why I didn't roll vicious for talented and kept whatever was in the free slot, but whatever was in the free slot must have been really horrible. So um, vicious was a little bit better because you know you're trying to get vicious, to, you know, for your PP, PVP type stuff. So I must have kept that. I have no idea why. But otherwise, it's a pretty good one. It's got the 23% enemy armor damage, 15.2. Uh, K damage on that so ideally if you can get one with 23% enemy armor damage and something good you know 15.2 14.9 something like that anywhere around there would be good even if you don't it's still fine the 23% enemy armor damage though is good because when you shoot you want to be able to strip that armor as quickly as possible um, but again competent and talented on this gun and then so my MP7 only hitting at 19.5 crit hit and I think 22.5 is is the max but again for this tack bill I'm not really shooting to kill people um, I'm using this gun just to stay alive pretty much because as you can see I have competent which once I use a skill it gives me that extra weapon boost and then I have in the free slot predatory uh, which gives me 35 percent health over 20 seconds so you're constantly regaining health for uh, 20 seconds getting 35 percent of it back so but again ideally if you could find a lightweight m4 that had that has it competent and talented in the first two slots if you can find it one that has both of those then you're set because then you can roll the third slot for predatory and then you only have the one gun you don't have to switch like uh, I'm about to demonstrate here so um, let's go ahead and get started roll Agent, out so you Dr. can see Candle. how this works and how you can get you the free vital health importance and of again um, any civilians you may with come the setup the map like this, says some of those the people must holster, have survived the dollar um, flu. You get health that means doing cover to cover, so it, there's two I ways you can get health if, if, you, if thing. need be. So. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus Seekers samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. There's your competence is a long way to with say, brain down keep there. those people alive until I get what I need. There's explosions, death by proxy, and they're just bleeding out. They all bled out, just like that. it up. Dudes, if you shoot them in the head, Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city else. prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last Look vestige that, of detectable power, virus, where would you go? And again, Wherever that's what the, the talented once you get a kill, are, refugee you get that skill boost. Downs. And as you can Jesus, see here in a second, they... it dropped from 464 down solution, to 418. So effective. That's sure, a pretty good chunk of skill power maniac. going up, and you that's why if we even deserve to survive this thing? you want to have that skill talented day, on doctor. your gun. Because when you have Every that day. in your hand and you get good that luck, kill, agent. skill power is increased by 15% for 20 seconds. So that's ideal. And then don't forget, inventive increased skill power by another 15% while at full health. So you're at full health, you're getting a double whammy 
um, of good skill power going. So, and for this, it's all oh, great. Yeah. Oh well. I could blow it up and redo it, but I'm not. And throw the seekers in. We'll just live with it. I'll go ahead and put my MP7 on though, so if I get a couple of quick kills, I'll get that free health. Wow. There's the predatory. They've already killed the turret, but that's okay. have all three of those things on your gun it's, it's more of a switching game at that point you need health that's when you switch to the gun with the predatory but you have to time it right for to get the actual um, heal so we can test that uh, right now so I have my lightweight in hand I dropped them I'm switching to the mp7 and I got the heal from it. You see the tiger head down there. So as long as you get that gun in hand before the kill, you get that. Uh, it works with the Seekers. It doesn't work with the turret though. It only works with the Seekers for some reason. So it still is good. Contamination down. Awesome. You're walking into the tank of it now. And Don't forget that. what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and, so and I really need viable here, antibody samples from like survivors. So off the keep them extra and put on alive, I guess. Sticky, you know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work just now. Just over a million. Candle out. Uh, but once you get the talented proc and the inventive with your full backpack, you're hitting that probably. I think it's like a million, 180, something like that. For this part here, most people just love to stick the big guy and put him down quick. Uh, he's a threat, but he's not as much a threat as these little guys because they launch those freaking cars that blow up. So I like to stick them at all possible. I just missed them. They split up. I'll give them a second here. There's those two are together. shot him I should have had my mp7 in hand because then I would have got the health from it so now I just have to let my health regen a little bit so I'm not used to playing with these two guns I swapped out the two that I showed you in the previous video but as you can see the health is almost always back up now and that's not even with predatory or anything not even sure why that was possible maybe it's what because of one of the talents I have on I have no idea Switch over to the MP7 here now. Pop these two. Kaboom. There's that predatory health. And there's the secret lines. Still going. I mean, technically, Order. you could just keep the chemical signature of explosives detected. Health the whole time, which is why I said it would be ideal Confirmed. to have a it's light weight, all right. talented, With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're going to kill you know, every I'll last refugee in that town. We need that tank move somewhere safe. You know, this is the profile that I'm showing you. And here's uh, cover to cover, so this would give me health too. 
but I'm already maxed out. So, yeah, um, lots of ways to get health when you do that. So, pop up, dead. Another thing that I have done on some of my other profiles is I'll have like my gun will have predatory on it. It's not this profile. Um, no, no. So you could roll the the free slot on your. Um, usually you have a gun like this. Yeah, something like that. They're not a 93R, but you know M. 1911 or whatnot so expert is always unlocked and then you have the free talent which is the second one you could roll that for predatory and just have your pistol in hand when you get the kill and then swap back to your main gun so many options that you can do but again the best one i think is to have it all on one gun and then have your second gun have like something else on it like a depth or something or you could have both guns have predatory and the free slot and competent and talent in the slots one and two um, totally up to you. But talented and competent are usually um, the best. If you don't have one, if you only have talented, that's good. Talented and in the free slot put predatory, that's better than not. So, um, again, competent is good for your weapon to do damage, but it's not really necessary. I mean, you don't, I mean, if you're not shooting, then you really don't need it. But for me, I like to shoot every once in a while, especially if they get in my face. If they get in my face, I want to be able to shoot them. So see, I'm stopping shooting there. My health is not full, so I'm going to switch over my There's some predatory heals, so now my last second will start going up. I gotta move though because he's got all those different guys coming up after me. And my health is going up because of the pressure right here. So now I'm just moving. Sometimes you have to stick it. There's more predatory health as probably. This guy's chasing. That's fine. Okay, agent. As soon as you lock the situation heal. down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. What? They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel. Where is that guy? He's behind the wall. That's so glitched. A couple of EMTs in the mix, doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Oh, Get yeah, going, that's agent. fair. Did you see that? He's behind the wall. Anyway. Without contaminating the samples, <laughs> I assume. Or infecting it. themselves. Yes. But uh, you can see the predator is still kicking in. Now it's full health, and I still got Thank like you, three or four seconds Get left moving, agent. Heal. But you know what? Even if you're close to being out, here we go. Boom. Um, yeah, it would help if you have your MP7 in hand. So when you don't have it on the same gun, you gotta really be thinking um, what to do. Or if you have it on both guns. Predatory health and kicked in because I got that other kill. This guy's trying to get out of there, but he ain't, so there's more predatory heal. That guy's trying to go away. No, you're not getting away, boss.
and I'm full of health. So when I do this last bar, I switch back to my turret. Turret actually slows down any type of rushers if you have good placement of it and uh, you do it right. So hopefully I'll do it right because it's been a while uh, since I've done it. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I st always start off with my lightweight here. So come down, put your turret somewhere along here, and that's going to take the guys that come from where I just jumped down the shield dudes. Seekers out. Get your two clips into this guy as much as possible. Now they're coming out back there as you can see I'm dropping down so that you can do a cover to cover back here. Let's get that help from Nimble. Look at my help jump up. And drop the Seekers over there. I'm blowing up my turret. that if you shoot them in the back as they come up, that slows them down. So now I'm going to predatory health, and now I'm switching over to my lightweight to do more damage. There's one down, there's two down, bingo. predatory health kicking in so and uh, doing this mission you can get uh, exotics I've gotten a uh, showstopper and a tenenbrae for sure um, but yeah that's where you go when you're doing it solo you don't need three or four people to do it when you have a build like this tack build you can do a lot of things solo um, without needing a group which you know Sometimes your buddies aren't online, so you can actually just get on and do whatever you want to do and be able to get through. Agent, um, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. Might even be able to do some safe. of the harder ones. I have gotten lucky and got through Warren Gate uh, once. Um, legendary. I can do Times Square Relay for sure. Um, no problem, even with my weaker bills. Uh, again, because you're just using the skill, so it just takes you a little bit longer because the skill isn't as powerful, but you can still get through it. Um, Napalm, I don't think I've ever tried that one solo. That one's just kind of insane, and I don't feel like wasting you know, an hour or whatever. Although there's some new videos out there on how to kind of get around it and to do, do it, it a different way Solid coming work. out of the mission and yeah, going to a work. side and now, doing sample stuff team, like that. Listen up. So, like but there saying, you go, man. That's um, blood samples labeled and attack organized bill, so we can track corroborating um, factors. with those two weapons. Let's so move this again, to a if you have a gun or currently agent. have a gun, um, the best thing I'd say you want to get on it is at least talented. Talented is your number one thing you want on your weapon. Again, because when you get that kill, you're getting that extra 15% skill. The second thing to me is competent 
because when they get in my face and I launch that skill, I got 15 seconds to try to put them down so I get that extra 10% weapon damage. The third thing would be that predatory, and that would have to be in that free slot. Um, and let's just see what I got here. See, predatory is un not unlocked because you need 47.90 in stamina. And look, I'm at 26.99. There's no way you're going to be able to unlock that. And you don't want to use your mods and take out electronic skill haste mods and use stamina mods because then your skill is going to suck. So you want as much electronics as possible. So the only way for you to get that predatory unlocked, as you can see here, is to have it in that third free slot right here. So that's why it's important to have talented, competent in the top two. And it could be mixed up. It could be count competent and talented or then talented and competent as long as it's in the first two slots both of those you're golden and then you can re-roll predatory you might even get a gun that has predatory in the third slot and competent or talented in the first or second slot then it, you would roll that other slot to get the opposite of competent or talent so that way you have all three on the same um thing but uh yeah that's it man um, how, how you do it so uh, and you can experiment with this um, I've experimented and I don't think I have it on this profile uh, carbon no SVD no uh, here's a par that I, I got that I was gonna uh, play with but uh, didn't bother with that uh, but you can even get um, a, a sniper rifle with those talents on it. Talented, competent. Uh, usually you wanna keep the free one that they have. Discipline, killing a target will make your next shot automatic critical hit. That's not that important. Um, I think on the regular guns you have elevated. Yeah, elevated. So if you're in a higher position then you get 10% more damage, but you can play with it. Um, my other profiles, I've, I've started to play with that, and uh, the sniper rifle is not too bad with those same talents. You can do, you know, headshot damage because you can scope out and put them down um, kind of further away, which is kind of good. So, um, but yeah, man, have fun with that. Hopefully that uh, clarifies a few things for you. So take it easy.